What? Just not feeling it today. Well, it's got to go out. That's the way podcasting works. All right, let's get a big one then. And what do you mean a big one? Just one last big one. Yeah. Okay. What Robert De Niro. He's having a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, what are some Robert De Niro movies? Um, Midnight Run. Ronan. Ronan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Intern. It's a shame Robert De Niro isn't in a movie called um, Old Come. <laughs> That would make this a lot easier. Yeah. There was a movie called Old Come yeah. starring Robert De Niro. Yeah, we'd be like, I guess he used uh, yeah. his I old say, Rob, come. Robert De Niro's come is so old, it's, his son's going to come out like uh, his, the fucking Edward Norton's character in the score. Yeah, that was good. He's a guy just pretending to be retarded. Yeah, yeah. That movie's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. When, he's, when the, they first introduce Edward Norton's character, Yeah. he's like... Mm-mm. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. How, how do I get to mm, the museum? Uh-huh. And then Robert Nero's like, you go two blocks that way. Uh-huh. You know, and tells him, okay. Okay, thank you, Nick. You know, and Robert Nero's like, the fuck did you just say to me? He's like, I'm retarded. I don't know what you said. <laughs> 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 I'm, planning, I'm, I'm pretending to be retarded. It's all an act. Yeah. I mean, it's absurd. And then the movie's good. I mean, mm-hmm. it's like, it's crazy. Like that premise is ridiculous. Yeah. To sneak to sneak into a museum to steal some ten million dollar scepter. You yeah, it's disguise, not even that expensive. You disguise yeah. yourself as the most memorable guy yeah. at, Someone on that, staff. That the security is watching like a hawk because they're like he's gonna bump into everything. Yeah. yeah. Well not even that he's gonna bump into anything. His plan is to steal the thing and then disappear out. Yeah. And then it's like Oh, well, it must have been the mentally disabled guy. The guy doing a, an incredibly exaggerated version of yeah. a mentally disabled guy. Mm-hmm. We thought he was just being a, mm-hmm. an edge lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, daddy. Okay, daddy. Yeah, Brando's in that too, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Big old fat boy. Yeah. One of the it's fattest guys too, I've ever seen. It's, it's like a sneaky way for him to to play like a radio character when it's not because nobody ever brings that up. You know, you talk about like actors that played mentally disabled people. Uh-huh. No one talks about Edward Norton in the score, right? Because it was a guy pretending to be right mentally disabled. You could really get away with a lot there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a actor acting like someone acting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it seems like pretty smart. It's such an absurd. Can you imagine being a professional uh-huh. thief and one of your like there's a guy that's pitching like, yeah. oh, what if I what if I pretended to be mentally mm-hmm. disabled? Right. There's one guy who's like, I'm the best wheel man in the business. Yeah. There's another guy that's like, I'm the best like uh, uh, lock picker in the business. And the third guy's like, I'm radio from the yeah, movie right. radio. Yeah, exactly. I have Down syndrome. I have Down syndrome. I pretend that I have, I'm mentally disabled. Yeah, and they're like, he's the best in the fucking business. Yeah. We need this guy. Right. It's like, also, how did he even get the job in the first place? Because uh-huh. usually somebody at that level would be like put there by some sort of like, right. you know, like social services. Uh-huh. So was, did he have to go through this whole process where he right. creates a fake identity and then gets registered as a mentally disabled person right, a ward of the state with the government of Canada yeah and then applies for a job you know and somehow gets it uh-huh. at this it's not like a handicapped person can just go up to to the you know right he has to be sponsored by a program you can't just go to the Met and be like right. okay I, um, can I look after the Rembrandts yeah and then they're like oh what's gonna happen there are tax credits involved yeah 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 okay thank you <laughs> Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. Yeah. Still a good fucking movie, though. How is he driving to work? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. How is he dressing so slick, also? Mm-hmm. Edward Norton used to have the coolest leather jackets. Yeah. Like, in, in, in that era. Yeah. He doesn't work anymore? Brando's great in that movie. Yeah. He doesn't really move. He's so fat. Yeah, he's sitting down. He's almost. sitting the whole. It's I a don't sitting think, I don't think you see him walk. I don't think you see his legs. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I think he's probably just wearing a diaper. No? Yeah. 
a big old dyke. Robert De Niro's character is awesome, though. He has a nightclub. He has a black girlfriend. Just like in real life. Just like in real life, yeah. yeah. He was playing Robert De Niro. Yeah. Yeah. His, he has an autistic son. He should have, he should have, his character should have, the surprise twist at the end uh -huh. when he's on the phone with Edward Norton. And Robert De Niro is like, uh, oh yeah, I got a surprise for you, Slick. Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it turns out I'm actually disabled. I was yeah. pretending to be Robert not De disabled. Yeah. I'm a disabled guy pretending to be Robert De Niro. Uh -huh. And everyone in my real life knows me as a disabled Dude, guy. Dude, that would blow my fucking mind if yeah. I saw that. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, how'd that... If just use CGI to make him look like he has Down syndrome at the end. He rips off the mask and it's just Robert De Niro with, with Down the syndrome. The face kind of works. Yeah. yeah. What in the M. Night Shyamalan is this movie? Yeah. What a twist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You talking to me? Oh, okay, sorry. Maybe he was doing... I thought you were talking to me. Yeah. No. It was pretty good. I, I, it's honestly, it looks, it's a, it's a very nuanced impression you're doing right now just yeah. with your face. I, I apologize. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> it's actually incredible. Yeah. A bunch of Oreos fall out of his sleeve. Yeah. You talking to me? Oh, <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> Those are my Oreos. Sorry. Let's get my Oreos back. Thanks. Yeah, he just showed up to set. We don't. We're putting him in the movie. He's a legend. But mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that face is really good. Do it again. Yeah, they were just pitching the whole thing. Everyone's like, maybe my character can pretend to be disabled. And Marlon Brando was like, uh, maybe my character can pretend to be hundreds and hundreds of pounds overweight. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's a great idea. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we love that. Yeah, that we love that. Okay, I'll get started. You want to do it? If I am, I it's can't me. Do it. It's honestly, it's incredible. Robert, Robert, Robert the syndrome. The Robert the syndrome. Yeah. Robert, Robert the syndrome. Robert the syndrome. Robert the syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do stuff like that anymore. I know. We got to grow up. Yeah. But it's so good. But we're talking about the score. Yeah. We're talking about a movie that is inappropriate. Yeah. And we're highlighting... Uh, Ignorance, mm -hmm. which is the basis of comedy, mm -hmm. right? 